Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Chris Profi, musically obsessed with vinyl CDs and cassettes. Chris Profi, musically obsessed. Oh yeah! All right, everybody. Vinyl grails and vinyl finds. Exciting stuff. Let's start with the grails first. Looky what I found. Ozzy's album, The Ultimate Sin, in the shrink with the hype sticker, JC. Beautiful condition, great price. I could not believe this. I never see it anywhere. And if I do, it's beat to hell. So it was great seeing this album. Um, slowly becoming my favorite Ozzy album. I've always loved Shot in the Dark, but The Ultimate Sin, heavy, heavy tune. Secret Loser is fun. Killer of Giants, what an epic tune. So Ozzy's The Ultimate Sin, finally in the collection. Next, so happy to find this. This is really difficult to find too. I found an early pressing of Ramon's End of the Century. This is on Sire. And this is the album produced by Phil Spector. Um, I listened to a reissue of this and I found some reviews on the reissue. And I'm going to tell you right now, the reissue stinks sound-wise. This, an earlier pressing of it, sounds amazing. I really, really like this album. It's totally different than any of the other Ramon stuff. Of course, it's got Do You Remember Rock and Roll on it. Um, they do uh, a cover of Baby I Love You on here, but there's some really, really good stuff on here like High Risk Insurance, um, Danny Says, Chinese Rock, I'm Affected, really good Ramones album. I wish this was in that box set that I bought, but it wasn't. And lastly, you wouldn't think this album would be hard to find, but for me it has been, The Debut by Rush. Talk about an album that doesn't really sound like anything else in their um, discography. Um, you have a different drummer on here, John Rutsey. Um, But wow, what a heavy Zeppelin-influenced album. Finding My Way, Need Some Love, What You're Doing, In The Mood, uh, Working Man is on here. Such a phenomenal album. This also came in this box, and I had never seen it before. And inside the box, you've got some um, cards of the guys. You've got this reel-to-reel -reel tape. It says 40th anniversary reissue on there. Um, you've got this cool, like, family tree, Rush family tree. And it's, uh, like I said, housed in this cool box. Now, let's get into the vinyl finds, and these are all great as well. Uh, picked up Overkill's The Year of Decay. Years of Decay, I should say. Probably, well, this or Horoscope are probably neck and neck for my favorite Overkill albums. Seen them live a couple times. So happy to have this in the collection. Picked up uh, the reissue of Grateful Dead's Shakedown Street. Such a fun record. Finally got Aerosmith Toys in the Attic on vinyl. I mean, how long did that take me? Shouldn't have taken me this long to have this. What a great album. From top to bottom, killer Aerosmith album. And um, lastly, I picked up the first three Pantera albums. Now, these are all unofficial releases, but they look and sound great. Metal Magic... And again, these are all pre-Phil Anselmo. Projects in the Jungle. And I Am the Night. So that's what I picked up. And uh, been spinning all of these. Great albums. Um, it's always fun when you find a grail. And it just fills you with that excitement. And it's like, yeah, I've been looking for this. Now it's in my collection. Nothing like it. And you guys who collect vinyl, you know what I'm talking about. So there you go. Um, hope everyone's enjoying the weekend. Listen to music.